you know, we were told that we would get an answer by Kaysen's birthday, which would have been Thursday. Um, Thursday, we were told they needed a little bit more time um, so that they would hopefully have something for us uh, by Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday rolled around, um, didn't get anything. Uh, and then Wednesday morning, um, we were told that um, the PCPA, the Pan-Canadian Pharmaceutical Alliance, um, is in negotiations with the drug company Norvartis. Uh, so it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of price. And, you know, in these negotiations, all these families with this fight might get, you know, all these babies in Canada the drug they need, which we would be so grateful. But then at what cost for Kaysen? Will then it be too late for him? They've really given us no uh, timeline as to, you know, and that's also a decision we need to make a family of where the risks outweigh the good benefit of receiving this drug. I'm going to get emotional, but I feel like our family and our story and Kaysen is being used as a bargaining tool. And I'm just not okay with that. You know, we need, I need something at the end of the day. I just, it's been a long emotional roller, roller coaster and I, I need something to move forward. Um, and at this point, you know, it's not fair that these families are trying to raise $3 million to give their children a better quality of life. There's so many families in Canada that are trying to raise this $3 million and it's very unrealistic and it's, in a sense, disgusting that we're forced to do this. We live in Canada. Like, come on guys, we live in Canada. The business case just makes itself once you look at the numbers and the likelihood of a child with SMA winding up at the hospital in a PICU bed. That's thousands of dollars a day minimum that you're looking at and every as the condition progresses and gets worse you're looking at having to put sometimes um, a rod in the spine because of scoliosis you're looking at muscle tone reductions like there, there's a whole bunch of things that just keep going out of it i have a neighbor who has uh, who has sma as well uh, so i'm very much motivated to make sure that this is provided as soon as possible and they're just calling again on the alberta government to do the right thing it's a compassionate thing to do and it's a very solid business case to do it this will save i think uh costs in the long term you know we're not public people and this has been really really hard for me and my family and you know i'm okay at the same sense putting myself out there to do this for Kaysen and for the sma community but at the same time too i just I want it to end and I want our life to go back to normal and I want to be going to the park rather than doing this or, you know, it's just, it's been hard.